they're really doing their thing. <gasps> um, I'm sorry, who are you? No one told me the fresh meat would look so tasty. Let me tell you something real quick. Dean, you about to get decked. Yes, we are back with Operation Quarterback. If you haven't seen the last one or don't know what's going on, we're an undercover FBI agent and we're having to protect the senator's son and go undercover except a romance is now happening, which has been approved by everybody involved. And we join the cheerleading squad. We're going on a date, but not a date with his son. You know, it's real cute, all like that kind of stuff, except the senator walks in right? And is like congratulating um, his son on like the football game or something. And it's pretty much like, oh, hey, it's our character. But do we see the problem here? If you don't see the problem here, it's how would he know who we are? He's never met us. It's a disaster. So we're going to see what happens. We're going to see if we can salvage this situation and continue on. If we can't, well, hopefully we still get paid. But I hope you guys enjoy and let's start the drama. How do you know Victoria? You know, that's a funny story. Uh, er, the moment my name slips off his lips, he knows that he's messed things up. Someone looks shook. He's been caught. You know what? You did this to yourself, Senator. I want my paycheck. If this flops, well, this is all your fault. I'm still getting paid. After all, how many college students would Senator Cruz know on a first name basis? None. That's what. And even if he did, it would be incredibly suspicious that he would know the name of the new girl on campus. FML. Well, well, you see, Holden, his mom is trying to save the situation. She's like, well, you see, sweetie, we, uh, the only way to keep, pr to protect Holden is to keep them from blowing my cover. Seek nothing in risk of safety, not my problem. I want my paycheck. But we'll be nice. We'll claim to have volunteered for his campaign. Fast thinking agent. That's, you know, that's how we're an agent. That's how we get paid the big bucks. Or we should, we technically got demoted. Can this be a promotion again? Because we work some magic here. Thank you very much. I volunteered at the senator's last campaign. I met him in person at a fundraiser. That's right, Victoria. His mom, Eleanor's like, mm -hmm, yes. Victoria was a huge help during the last campaign. And you just happen to remember Victoria after all this time out of all the people you've ever met. It's a funny story, actually. Stop digging yourself the hole. I was looking for an office when I made one left turn too soon and ended up locking myself in a storage closet. Victoria was walking by when she heard me calling out and unlocked the door for me. A storage closet. I was just walking down the hall and I heard someone yelling for help. The next thing I know, I'm pulling our senator out of a closet. A storage closet. Who knows when he would have been found if Victoria wasn't there to help. We are forever indebted to you. <laughs> oh, what a small world. Do you mind if we steal our son away for a few hours? Be my guest. I'll see you at the mixer later. I'll be there. We really, we really got out of that situation and we shouldn't have. That was so obvious. I can't believe Holden fell for that. A storage closet. Holden. Holden. Come on. Sebastian oh, Tanner, how's I was like, what's going on here? Jen Woods, if you do, can we please tag along? In the space of 24 hours, my assignment went from becoming Holden's friend to becoming his girlfriend. Believe me, no one needs an opportunity to blow off some steam like I do. Sis, you have Holden. You're going to be blowing off a lot of steam. It'll be fine. I'm coming. Who's here? If it's my friend's. Why aren't you dressed yet? Oh, this is Abigail. This is our, um, the cheer squad captain person. I am dressed. Is it? <laughs> I, I didn't know what this was like. Go, I'm like, what are we, what are we doing here? They're long johns. Believe me, I can see that there's not a sliver of skin exposed. This isn't a sleepover at your grandma's, Victoria. It's a college party. Shoot, you're so right. These are the only pajamas I packed. Lucky for you, I came prepared for everything. I have an extra PJ set that look amazing on you. Oh, ain't that funny? Try them on. Well, how convenient. Oh, so what party is this? Oh, yeah, this is the, like, PJ party. Is she really about to come in here looking like she came out of Victoria's Secret? Wow. All I can say is a certain someone was asking about you earlier. Cough, cough. Holden, and his jaw's gonna hit the floor when he sees you in that. <laughs> Will you dress up with us, Victoria? 
29 they even put sparkles to get me to do that you going in your long johns girl i could just go my long johns are you sure these will be fine it's an outfit choice where's my option i want a kiss holden that's what i'm trying to do here what's she looking through my room for victoria what are these well c sis <laughs> she's into some freaky stuff i must have forgotten to put those away abigail it's not what it looks like. You might as well just say it's what she thinks it looks like. I never would have thought that you would have been into all that, Victoria. You know, using restraints and stuff. <laughs> Real power, my Victoria. I've got to be better with hiding my FBI items. Nothing gets past me. Are you ready to get going? Let's go. Well, they'll come in use later, I suppose. Okay, so here we are at the party. This place is amazing. It's Buck's parents' place. Not Buck. Can we... Someone in my comments was, like, talking about Buck being extra. And the more I thought about it, I low-key agree. Like, Mr. Hottie over here in everyone's business. Um, They always go to Aspen this time of year, which means we always hold this mixer here. I didn't really get a grip in a mansion vibe from him. I don't really know how to say this without sounding snobbish. <laughs> But Seacrest College is the place you go when your parents have money. I mean, lots of money. Surely you would have noticed the tuition fees are much higher than other places. Yes. I left my last school to come to study here on a scholarship. I suppose I didn't really notice the tuition fees. Yeah. Let's go find some of the other girls. Can we low-key get a degree here for free? Just to like put it to our name too. It's fine. You know, we're here. We're doing school. We better get, you know, compensated. Okay, so we're here. I'll go get us some drinks. I wonder where Holden's gonna be. Enjoy the party. Text. You know what? It's our duty to text Holden. Text him. Holden plus one. Are you still coming to Bucks? Hey, you. I'm having dinner with my parents. We'll be able to sneak off soon. Ooh, text in. Here you go. Thanks, Abigail. The girls are across the room. Let's get our dance on. Let's do it. I keep forgetting that we are like low key. Oh my gosh. They are really out here. They're really doing their thing. <gasps> um, I'm sorry. Who are you? No one told me the fresh meat would look so tasty. Let me tell you something real quick. Dean, you about to get decked. Ew. Plain hard to, uh-uh. Mm -mm -mm -mm. You know what's, you know what's going to get you on is when we go Bam! With our foot and kick you where it hurts. Believe me, I'm not playing anything. Oh, come on. You know you're interested. Oh, hell no. You heard her Dean get lost. Oh, thank you, Holton. Thank you. What a jerk. Oh, there's Buck in the back right there. Hey, are these your PJs? It's not winter, you know. And what are you coming in? Your workout outfit? Holden? Hey, Dean, turn up the music. You got it. Ugh. Would you like to grab a drink? A what? <laughs> I said, would you like to grab a drink? We're nowhere near an ice rink. No, a drink. The sink? I think the bathroom is. No, not the sink. Maybe we should go somewhere a little quieter so we can hear ourselves think. I like that. There's an amazing deck out back that overlooks the lake. Would you like to check it out with me? Um, I'd love to check it out with you. Got time alone with Holden. I'd love to check you out, Holden. Follow me. Why did Buck look like he was up to, he was scheming back there? It's so much better out here. I can actually hear you now. I know the music was so loud in there. The fresh air feels nice too. It's such a beautiful night. I know what you mean. Wow, the stars look so pretty in the sky tonight. I swear, they're brighter out here. But maybe I just think that because I feel freer here. Hold and look. Oh, they're seeing the shooting star. Make a wish. Oh, he's grabbing our hand. I sure did. We know what he's wishing. He's wishing he could get with our girl. It's gonna happen. We're gonna make your wish come true. Don't you worry, Holden. Did you see that? That was amazing. Ha ha ha, I did. It was. Holden's eyes locked onto mine. I could feel the heat of the moment building up. Who, who wants to bet it's going to be ruined by someone? The light reflecting off the water glistened in his eyes. He tucked a strand of hair behind my ear and slightly cupped my face. His eyes scanned my lips, then back to my eyes. And I swear he was just about to lean in until... Buck. 
Go way back. No one wants you here. Attention, everyone. I have a very important announcement. I think we should get back in there. What? An announcement? I agree. Let's go. Of, of what? All stallions and fillies, listen up. What's this idiot I do now? Welcome everyone to the annual mixer where we welcome all stallions and fillies. Each year, colleges challenge each other by playing pranks on one another. But this year, Seacrest Valley will become the victor before the pranking season has even begun. I don't like where this is going. Tonight, six of us, three football players and three cheerleaders will be traveling to Venus Cove University to liberate their Comet Trophy, which they believe brings them luck. Is this necessary, Buck? Is this necessary? It's not. This is messy. You're messy and you need help. You're a mess. You're a mess, Buck. That's exactly what that out there remain winless all season. Um, this is not a good look on him. Someone, get him out of here. Did he have too much to drink? Do you need to lie down, Buck? Have a couple glasses of water. Please let us assist you because this ain't it. Hold in, you're my main man. I know you're coming. here. He ain't coming. I'm not sure, Buck. It's our last year here. Don't leave me hanging. Fine. Hold in, don't fall into peer pressure. Not with Dean. Ew. He's like, uh-huh, okay, Dean, you too, I guess. I guess I'm in as well. Abigail, don't do it with this peer pressure. No, you don't fall for peer pressure. Sounds like fun. I'll go Rose. How dare you? Come on, Victoria, do it with us. Fine. I should be there. I'm not... <laughs> Excuse me. From the Stallions, we have Holden, Dean, and myself. And from the Phillies, we have Abigail, Rose, and Victoria. Ladies and gentlemen, my car is out the front. Let's get this show on the road. I want nothing to do with this. Why does every college have a nicer camper than us? You, camper, campus than us. Considering our tuition is higher, why is you think we could put that money towards the campus? But okay, keep it down, Abigail. Do you really want everyone to know we're here? Well, Buck, we wouldn't have this problem if you didn't make this idea. So where is the statue located? That's the thing. He's not a hundred percent sure. Okay, okay, what? So you're basically just setting us up to fail. Tell him, Rose. We do know that it's kept in one of the coaches' offices. There's an office in the swimming pavilion, one in the football locker rooms, and one more near the basketball courts. We'll split into three groups. I'm going with you so I can keep an eye on you. Whatever you say, dog. Ugh. Buck started up here in the story for me. and He's just gone down. It's just... Ugh. Oh, my... I'll take her over my dead body. Um, what do you say, Holden? Want to pair up and see where this now takes us? I have a few ideas. You know we're right here, Holden. What I felt watching Rose flirting with Holden for the first time was jealousy. Oh, she's like my man. A tinge of it at knowing that Holden might spend the night exploring campus, running through the dark with Rose. They're laughing, tripping over each other, searching for the statue together, getting arrested, you know. I wanted to do that with him. I wanted that to be us. First, I'm so sorry, but there's someone else I want to ask. Oh. 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 Here we are. I'll go with you, Holden. And there they go. Victoria and I will take the football locker rooms. You two can search the basketball courts. Have fun. Bye. Okay, so now we are looking around. All right, this looks like the Venus Cove locker rooms. Do you see anything unusual, Victoria? Besides the unwashed wet uniforms? No, I can't see the trophy anywhere in here. I heard that there's a football office somewhere around here. Perhaps it's in there? Uh-oh. Are y'all on camera, by the way? Because I think I see a sign this way. Off they go. This hallway looks as though it's back towards the swimming pavilion and the basketball courts. Um, oh, looks as though they're getting busy in more than ways than one. Oh my goodness. Come on. I think y'all sh should have scared them after what they put you through. Hmm. They out here making out, but yeah, he wanted to come and try to get this trophy. He could have done that back at home. It's over there. That's the trophy. Did you just hear that? I think someone's coming. We need to hide. Crap. I don't know where to hide. Did they catch us? Um, looking for this, perhaps. 
you do realize that I'm here to stop that from happening. To be honest, dude, I didn't want to come here. I didn't want to do this. These flops over here forced me to do it. <laughs> ask him, um, ask him for his name. What's your name? Cat Calum Callum, I don't know. I've always thought Callum was such a sexy name. Yeah. You did? Really? Really, Callum? Calum, whatever you're how else can I use my womanly? Uh, drop it low, sis. Oh, he's really, I'm going to go now. You can have my car. <laughs> Thank you. As I distracted the guy, Holden snuck up from behind and snatched the trophy. Couldn't we just at this point be like, can we please have the trophy? Add me on Epigram. Okay. No. <gasps> yeah, as you managed to get the trophy, no thanks to all of y'all. Where did you find it? It was in the football office. Have Buck or Abigail made an appearance yet? We're here. Are you okay? We. The trophy's missing. Everyone run. Hand this trophy to uh, Buck over here because if we go down, he's the one going, not us. Victory. I gotta admit, that was pretty badass. I had so much fun on our mission. Oh, you did, didn't you miss Abigail? Are we going back to the party? I'm feeling super amped up right now. Ooh, I'm so down to go back out. I'm not really up to go back to the party. Ooh, something seems a bit off about Holden. I think I'm going to call it a night. I think I'm going to head towards the dorms too. I'm feeling pretty tired myself. That's fine. I'll drop you two back at the dorms. I wonder if he's upset because we flirted with the, the guy. Are you okay? Honestly, not really. Do you have time to talk? I, if it even tries with me, come with me. If it even tries to pull out the gym option, I swear. Thanks for this, Victoria. Did you have fun today? Buck's been planning that for weeks now. The only thing he didn't know was where the trophy was actually located. A lot more than I thought I would. Well, I'm glad your first trophy heist was a success. Um, so what's on your mind? Honestly, I've just been feeling overwhelmed about the future. Now that it's my last, we're really having this conversation on the night of the party. <laughs> it's also my last year of football unless I get recruited to play professionally. It just started to hit me that I might be nearing the end of football. It's hard and scary to not know what the future holds, but that's also part of what makes it exciting. You never know what tomorrow might bring. Very true. You know, you're a lot more mature than most college kids are. <laughs> yeah. And I mean that all in a good way. I'm lucky to have met you. I feel the same way. And the hardest part was how much I meant it. So, you know, I thought there was something off about you the moment I first met you, Victoria. You don't Oh no, you don't act like a typical college student. You have so much knowledge about almost everything and you seem like an expert in martial arts. Did he already find us out? I don't know what to say. I'm just a normal college student like you, Holden. I sound, oh, you pretend and says, you're different, Victoria. And maybe different is what I need. <laughs> Did he figure us out or is getting kind of late? Crap, yeah, you must be exhausted. Are you okay? Yeah, I just... <sighs> I don't want to be alone tonight, Victoria. Why? You can stay here if you want. I'll take the sofa. Don't be stupid. Sleep in your bed. Well, if you insist. Okay. You sleep on the couch. You do that. Thanks for letting me stay here, Victoria. I really appreciate it. I really didn't want to be alone with my thoughts or go back to Buck's party and end up staying there all night. I'm here to talk, Holden, no matter what it's about and if I'm paid. Thank you, Victoria. I owe you one. Do you want to really want to spend the night on that sofa? It's not very comfortable. This couch isn't so bad. If you say so. What was that? It's nothing. I'm great. Totally good. It was just a little spring stabbing. That's unfortunate. <laughs> it doesn't look like you're great. You look like you're in pain. I'll live, I think. Look, you're really sweet, but you have practice early tomorrow. It'd be terrible for you to show up on no sleep. There's room up here. Why don't we just share the bed? You don't have to be here about this. I want you to stay up here with me. Are you sure? Honestly, this couch isn't the most comfortable. And I'd much rather be with you. Uh, Say goodnight and turn over. I'm sorry. It's better not to rush things. You like the couch over there. You, we gave you the option multiple times, Holden. That's your problem, not mine. Good night, Victoria. Enjoy that backache. Oh, it's the next morning. Okay. When I woke up the next morning, I could tell I was the only one in my small room. Hopefully he's okay. <laughs> and there was a sinking feeling in my stomach. 
that I couldn't explain. About what? What could have been bad? Is it because he slept on the couch? He chose that life. I think we are ready for the big game. Dinner tonight. Ooh, she's like, yes. To be continued. But what's the thinking feeling about? Okay, so there's a sinking feeling. We don't know what it's going to be, and it's the big game. So we're going to find out what happens, but I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will hopefully see you in the next Operation Quarterback. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Bye. Bye.